Hey, today I want to give you five tips to help you become the best bass player possible. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar and I want to welcome you to the first video of 2023 and something super, super exciting. We have a brand new eBay's Guitar HQ and this is the first lesson from our brand new filming studio. So before we get going today, I want to pay tribute to a wonderful eBay's Guitar student and fantastic photographer, Martin Evening. Martin sadly passed away a few weeks ago, but I was lucky enough to spend some time with him and he gave me some great advice on how to develop this studio here. And one of the things he really encouraged me to do was use more color. So so that's why you're seeing it in a red wall there, me wearing more colorful t-shirts. But I would love to put it out to you guys at this point. How do you think I should develop this space? What ideas do you have? Please do let me know in the comments below. So today I'm gonna to give you five tips on how to become the best bass player possible. Now, tip number one is practice regularly. Now, there's no secret to this. To become a better musician, better bass player, you have to spend time on the instrument, but it's not as much as you think. Now, I wanna think, get you to think about the old story of the tortoise and the hare. Little and often going slowly but consistently really is the key to doing this. So what I'd love you to do is carve out 15 to 20 minutes every day to pick up that bass guitar and to really push your bass playing forward this year. Now, if you want a killer way to get the most out of your practice sessions, I'm gonna put a link to a video below where I teach you the 3M practice technique. Link in the description below. Tip number two is learn music theory. I see so many students who are resistant to learning music theory, but when they dig in and discover it's not as hard as they think, a whole new world opens up. They suddenly discover that they can memorize songs faster. They suddenly discover they can do learn the whole of the fretboard and understand how it connects together much easier. And they discover that their musical ear improves. It's that powerful. Now there are a ton of music theory lessons that I put together on this channel here, but if you want the quick and the concise guide to it, make sure you check out my book, The Complete Guide to Music Theory for Bass Guitar Players. I'll put a link in the description below for that. Now tip number three, and this is super straightforward and doesn't even involve picking up the bass guitar, is listen to the greats and spend time absorbing their music. So whether it's listening to a great blues bass player like Tommy Shannon with Stevie Ray Vaughan playing bass lines like this, or Paul McCartney playing beautifully melodic bass lines like this, or someone like Marcus Miller coming out with technically extraordinary bass lines like this. The important thing is to really zone in and listen to their bass playing. So I wanna give you a challenge, and that is to pick 10 of the great bass guitar players. Now pick five that you've never ever listened to before, Jump on something like Spotify and pick their most famous tracks and just listen closely. Try and pick out the bass line first of all, then listen to all of the other instruments. Put a pair of headphones on and just really absorb yourself with the music and see what you can learn. I promise you this is a really extraordinarily powerful way of becoming a better musician and is dead straightforward to do. Tip number four is have fun and experiment with equipment and develop your bass sound. Because this is the thing that inspires us to wanna to pick up the bass guitar is our sound. Now part of that is our bass guitar playing, part of that is the equipment. Now for years, I was fiercely proud. I was just a bass guitar guy through the front of an amplifier. Now over the last year, 
I started experimenting with pedals, so much so I built my first ever bass guitar pedal board, which you'd have seen in a recent video, because I wanted to experiment using the Octivider and the Aguilar Filter Twin pedal here. Now you're gonna see a lot more of me using pedals and experimenting with this kind of technology over the next year. Now let me show you what I've been playing around with over the last few months and see if that can inspire you to develop your bass guitar setup. Tip number five is get help and support from an experienced bass guitar instructor or coach as soon as you possibly can. Now I've seen this a bunch over recent months that students are saying, look, I'm just not yet ready to get going. They feel like they have to do a certain amount of groundwork themselves. I'm here to tell you that is absolute nonsense. As soon as you start working with an experienced instructor, the sooner you will start improving because they will shortcut your route to success. Now, this could be working with an old fashioned bass instructor where you go to their house on a regular basis and work one to one, or this could be taking a self paced bass program like the Bass Lab Plus, which I've put together over at ebassguitar.com, or it could be working remotely with a world class bass instructor like on our Bass Lab VIP program where you can work with the incredible Paul Geary. It doesn't matter, there are a host of options out there but the most important one is that you pick one, start getting qualified and experienced help straight away and that will shorten your path to success considerably. So guys, that's the end of today's bass guitar video. I hope you found these five tips super helpful. If you'd like to push your bass guitar playing forward, don't forget to jump over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus and Bass Lab PIP. There are a ton of great resources there which will help you push your bass guitar playing forward. And also, please make sure you let me know what are your ideas? How can I improve this brand new wonderful filming space that we've got here for the eBass Guitar YouTube channel? I'd love to find out. Do let me know in the comments below. And here's to 2023 and let's have an awesome year playing the bass guitar. See you next week.